And I think this is kind of cool what you're uh, what you're offering up. Um, you know, everybody's stuck at home and it's like, yeah. hey, let's give the kids something to do and, and learn a skill, actually. Yeah. Yeah, really. And and is this open to just kids or can adults do this, too? It's for everybody, really. Okay. I, I you know, uh, over the years, I've always been asked, how do you how did you do this on your own? Because I never had an education in art or anything beyond high school. Right. And I was like, well, I just kind of practice it this certain way and. After after being telling people this over and over, I realized, well, there's something here maybe I could teach huh. people. So oh, I tried nice. it with a small group of people here in Pocatello okay. about three years ago, and uh, and it worked really well for them. It was like a little worksheet I made, and okay. so and it was all ages, you know, kids, adults, fifty year olds, all the way down to you know ten year olds, and everyone seemed to be kind of surprised that they could draw. <laughs> that is kind of surprising. I mean, I can draw. I just can't draw well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and okay. you know, the the purpose of it is to help people like memorize drawing, like not not just copy stuff out of a book, you know, but right. mem- like really be able to retain things, practice it, and retain retain it, and learn how to see things clearly, you yeah. know. Pretty so yeah, just like part- any other skill, just repetition, huh? Repetition is a huge part of it. Um, the reason I call it cognitive drawing, though, is because uh, it kind of taps into this a lot of this cognitive research that's been happening over the last 20 years of this thing called the testing effect, where if you if you try something as good as you can and then test your knowledge on it immediately with feedback, you're, you you uh, you create long term memories a lot faster. Okay. So it's okay. just kind of this rep- repetitive testing effect type procedure, and it's. Uh, you know, I, I did it 20 years ago myself without uh-huh. knowing there was any research done on it. <laughs> it just worked. Okay. Yeah. And so anyway, so it's kind of like a, there's a little bit of science behind it, I think. And it seems to really work for a lot of people. So and people are like, I've never done it like this before. And it's amazing. So, so what do you do? Well, let's say uh, like a person's first class. What do you go over? What are some techniques that they'll be learning? Well, the the very first lesson is is showing people how to do it with an like drawing an eyeball, a stylized eyeball. Okay. And um, so the basically the, the technique is you you know what you're going to you're trying to attempt to draw and you cover it up immediately and do it as good as you can to your own knowledge right now. Okay. So it's going to be horrible, you know. <laughs> right. Just then, expect that. <laughs> and then you uncover it and you draw again from the reference and um in doing that you're you're connecting all these dots of what what you were struggling with and you're answering those questions immediately with immediate feedback and then you do it again you cover it all up and you draw it all from memory and it's just amazing how much your brain remembers after doing that pro- process and then you just keep doing it until you're really satisfied with it and okay. it's amazing how like you know young like 8 year olds or you're even younger, or, or their parents Pick sometimes are coming home from school. I've I've had the story where um, a mom was confronted by teachers and other parents saying, "Your son said he drew this eye, but I know he didn't." You know, a parent helped him with that. And they're like, "No, that he did that." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's amazing so, what we can do when you know when we just you know, put our minds to it and just yeah. just do it, just jump out of our comfort zone and do it. Yeah. So, how long have you been? Um, how long have you been a, a, an artist? Uh, you've been at this in a couple of years, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, all my life. Ever since yeah. I could pick up a pencil, I would love to draw. So it's it's something that just fascinated me. I've never had really a very high education in it, but at the age of 21, I moved to LA from from Pocatello uh-huh. and uh, worked in the industry in, in commercials and animation and worked at DreamWorks and all that stuff for 20 years. Yeah. So okay. yeah, it's just been a passion of mine forever. So tell me, if people want to get in on this class, if people want to contact you, how do they get involved? How do they get their kids involved? Well, they could go to cognitivedrawing.com, and that will kind of give you all the information about what it is that I've, I've put together in this book. It's 160 pages. It has 90 days of lessons. And right now it's on Kickstarter, so I'm trying to fund the printing of this book. Okay. And then after that, we're going to push it into homeschools. And we've already exper- uh, experimented with uh, a charter school here in, in Pocatello, and they've loved it and really good results. So, yeah, cognitivedrawing.com. All right, fantastic. Jason, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate that. And, you know, keep on pushing that pencil. Yeah, will do. <laughs>